time. At every level of my management career, I have had to delegate. And the higher I went, the more I have had to delegate. Frankly, I believe that it is very difficult to succeed as a team without delegation. Organizations function on delegation. It's not just about getting things done. That certainly is one of the reasons we delegate. Delegation is also one of the key ways we can develop our team. Today, I want to share a few ways for you to delegate better and make your team more successful. First, understand who you are delegating to. You can't always choose who you are going to delegate to, but you should assess them in the role so that you can plan for their success. Do they have the skills and training? Do they have the time? Do they know where to get the resources necessary? Do they know when to ask for help? When you can answer these questions, you are going to be able to delegate more effectively. For example, if you ask an introverted employee to go to a networking event to build their skills, you could say, I know that this isn't something you are generally comfortable with, but I really want to work on developing your networking skills. I'd like you to do this and get more practice. So here are some tips for how to start. If you understand what your employee needs, you are going to be able to better delegate to them. Next, and this cannot be overemphasized, you have got to clearly define and communicate expectations. As the manager, it's your job to make sure that your employee understands all of the pertinent information, the background, the audience, and the expected outcome. You need to clearly define who owns the results and when you expect the results. The clearer you can make your expectations, the better your team will be able to execute them. It's also important to recognize potential barriers. As a leader, you already know that one of the keys to success is to preemptively look for barriers and eliminate them. This is particularly true when delegating a task because at the end of the day, you are still responsible. You know the task you are delegating, so prepare your team for any roadblocks they may encounter or any aspects of the task that may pose specific barriers to specific individuals. Next, determine how you will manage accountability. Set a specific time frame. Be clear about the outcome and ask your employee or team member to paraphrase what you said. Involve them in the process of how they will be held accountable to the success of the task. Finally, determine how you are going to recognize success. Think about what motivates your employees, what benefits them, what's going to make them feel good about their accomplishment. Acknowledging a job well done makes you and your employees feel good. So, are you ready to delegate some tasks? Think of a task you need to accomplish, but you can delegate to a team member. Pick the right person and set them up for success by using these tips. Remember, if delegation fails, two things happen. Either you catch it and someone else will have to redo the work or you don't, which means that the task is done wrong. But if you delegate well, you should, you should have nothing to worry about.